Hello, my name is Kailas Bosley. I am from Sanjeevani College of Engineering, Kupargaon. In this session, we are going to study about the composites. So, for this composite my section, we are use books like Donald Skillet and William Callister. So, what is the fiber reinforced composites? Most fiber reinforced composites provide improved strength, particular resistance, hence modulus and strength to weight ratio by incorporating strong steep but brittle fibers into a softer more ductile matrix. The matrix material transmits the force to the fibers which carry most of the applied load. The matrix also provides protection for the fiber surface and minimizes diffusion of species such as oxygen or moisture that can degrade the mechanical properties of the fibers. The strength of the composite may be high at room temperature and elevated temperatures. So first case is stress is parallel to the fibers. Let us now consider the elastic p wear of the continuous and oriented fibrous composite that is loaded in the direction of the fiber alignment direction. First of all, it is assumed that the fiber matrix interfacial bond is very, very good such that deformation of both matrix and fibers is the same an isostrained situation. Under these conditions, the load, total load sustained by the composite Fc is equal to the loads carried by the matrix phase Fm and the fiber phase Ff. So Fc will be equal to Fm plus Ff. From the definition of stress, uh, load will be equal to sigma into i and thus expression for the Fc becomes Fc, Fm and Ff in terms of their respective stresses and cross section areas are possible. So we we'll Put up the value here and then we get the sigma c into ac will be equal to sigma m into am plus sigma f into a and then dividing through uh, the total cross sectional area of the composite ac we have so sigma c will be equal to sigma m into am into uh, am upon ac plus sigma f into af upon ac where am upon ac and the af upon ac are the area fractions of the matrix and fiber phases respectively. If the composite matrix and fiber phase lengths are, equal, are all equal, AM upon AC is equivalent to the volume fraction of the matrix VM. And likewise for the fibers, VF will be equal to AF upon AC. So we put the value sigma C will be equal to sigma M into VM plus sigma F into VF. The previous assumption of an isostrain state means that EC strain in the uh, composite will be equal to strain in the matrix will be equal to strain in the fibers and when each term is divided by its respective strain sigma C upon EC will be equal to sigma M upon EM into VM plus sigma F upon EF into VF. Furthermore, it, if composite matrix and fibers deformations are all elastic then sigma C upon EC will be equal to capital EC that is X modulus. Uh, it, the E is being the, the modulus of elasticity for the respective phases. Substitution into equation gives yields an expression for the modulus of elasticity of continuous and aligned fibrous composite in the direction of alignment that is longitudinal direction. So EC becomes EC will be equal to VM into EM equal to VF into EM. So this is the behavior under load for the fibers and matrix. So first one is stress and strain curve for the fiber and matrix and second is showing fiber matrix and the composite material. So we are getting the value of composite between fiber and matrix. So we will solve the numerical based on it. A continuous and aligned glass fiber reinforced composite consists of 40 volume percent of the glass fibers having a modulus of elasticity of 69 gigapascal and 60, per, 60 volumetric percent of the polyester resin that when hardened displays a modulus of 3.4 gigapascal. Compute the modulus of elasticity of this composite in the longitudinal direction. If the cross section area is 250 mm square and the stress of 50 MPa is applied in the, in the uh, longitudinal direction, compute the magnitude of load carried by each of the fiber and matrix phases. Determine the strain that is sustained by each phase when the stress is stress in part B is applied. So the modulus of elasticity of the composite is calculated by using the equation EC will be equal to VM into EM plus VF into EF. So EC will be equal to 30 gigapascal. Solve this portion of the problem. First find the ratio of the fiber, fiber load to the matrix load using the equation. We are getting the FF will be equal to 
0.5 fm in addition the total force sustained by the composite fc may be computed from the applied stress and total composite cross sectional area ac according to fc will, will become 12500 12, newton however this total load is just the sum of the loads carried by the fiber and matrix phases that is fc will equal to fa plus fm so equal to 12500 newton so substitution for the fa from the above yields that uh, so we are getting fm will be equal to 860 newton whereas fa will be equal to 11640 newton thus the fiber phase supports the vast majority of the applied load the stress for the fiber and matrix phase must be must must be calculated then by using the elastic modulus for each uh, the strain values may, may be determined for the stress calculation phase cross sectional areas are necessary so find out areas and then find out the stresses in matrix and the fiber finally we can find out the strain in matrix and the fiber therefore strains for the both matrix and fiber phases are identical similarly when you apply the load in a trans transfer direction that is perpendicular uh, to the to the, uh, to the axis a continuous and oriented fiber composite may be loaded in the transfer direction that is the load is applied at a 90 degree the direction of fiber alignment for this situation the stress to which the composite as well as the both phases are ex exposed is the same that is sigma c will equal to sigma m will equal to sigma i so this is termed as iso stress state also the strain and the, or the deformation of the entire composite will be is similar to vm into em equal to vf into ef but since strain will be equal to stress upon x, mo x modulus so we can replace the value and find out this equation from this equation we are getting the x modulus 1 by ec will equal to vm upon em plus vf upon ef